Well, welcome back to the studio. And Dave, thanks for sticking around. It's having, having too much fun here. What else, <laughs> what else do I do? Of course, I'm going to stick around, especially as we head into a little product in action. We have two members of our OCI team, Elena and Yanir here. Uh, give us a little uh, insight into what we're going to see. And uh, there's, there's a lot of talk about AI, um, but seeing it working is arguably the most powerful way for people to really grasp it. Absolutely. So first of all, thanks for having us here. Of course, this is AI world. And uh, in the world of AI, we are really talking about agents and agentic AI systems. So we thought we'd bring a demo here to show you folks today. And I'll turn it over to my colleague in here to tell you folks about how he built that. Right. So it's uh, great to be here. Uh, this was a really cool, fun demo to, to build. Um, I wanted to see what I could build for a, a customer support scenario and stay all within the Oracle ecosystem. So I started with Oracle Code Assist. I vibe coded the little client app that you're going to see in the demo. And uh, then I've used uh, Oracle uh, Autonomous Database uh, 23AI to store the data. Now, in order to generate the data for the demo, I use the generative AI service to kind of generate the, the data that, that you're going to see. I used Code Assist again to transform that into SQL queries to load the data into the, into the database. And, and then I created a bunch of uh, um, knowledge articles, which will help the, the support representative resolve tickets um, more easily. And the, the final piece of the puzzle was the OCI agents platform. The, and then I gave it access to the database and the knowledge articles. And then the, the customer or the, the customer support representative was able to ask questions of the, the database or the, the knowledge base and receive all of that. So for, for Shauna's benefit, she loves vibe coding. Yes, can you I talk, love it. Can you hit a, hit, a, hit on that just for a second? Because it is a kind of a new school kind of thing, right. very leading edge. Um, can you talk about the tools that you use for the vibe coding part? Because I think people are very curious about it. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I use I use our own uh, built tool, the, the Oracle Code Assist. And basically what you do is instead of rushing, it, as a developer, instead of rushing to write all this code, you give it a prompt like you would do with, with a chat application or any large language model you would converse with. Cool. And then it will start generating code based on your request. And obviously, and, and this, is, this is a point where, where people feel like, oh, it should create the perfect application from the very first prompt, and it's not really how it works. It will give you something, you will reply to that and say, oh, it's not quite that, um, and, and give me something else. You go back and forth, back and forth. Well, let us, yeah, and let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. For this demo, I wanted to create a customer support agent. This agent will make human customer support agents more efficient. To start, I created a simple autonomous database instance with the following schema. As you can see, I have a customer table, a support agent table, a tickets table, and a couple of helper tables. I've used the generative AI service to generate data for this demo. Next, I created my agent using the OCI agent service. As you can see, my agent has three pre-built tools to work with. The SQL tool is connected to our autonomous database instance where we store our support ticket data. I've shared my database schema with the tool and allowed the tool to execute SQL queries on my behalf. I've also shared more detailed information about the various table columns for better results. Next, we have the RAG tool, which was trained on a set of knowledge base articles I have auto-generated using the generative AI service. These articles were uploaded as PDF files to a storage bucket. The last tool is a custom tool, which I have configured to execute an internal API to send emails. The custom tool can be configured to make function or API calls to automate workflows and retrieve information from additional data sources. Now that my database and agent are ready, I use Oracle Code Assist to create my application. I created a fairly detailed description of an application with a backend and frontend. Code Assist generated the outline of the application as well as all of the necessary code and configuration files. I followed the instructions creating the structure of the application as well as ran the various commands to install the required packages. I've adapted the initial code to my needs and here's the resulting application. First, I'll pretend to be a call center manager and ask a question like, how many tickets do we have in the system? 
As you can see, the agent figured out that for this task, it needs to use the SQL tool, which generated a SQL query to retrieve the data, all without the user having to know anything about databases or SQL. Next, I'm going to ask, who is the busiest support agent right now? Thanks to the magic of LLMs and natural language to SQL, the agent was able to understand that busiest in this context means the agent with the most tickets assigned to them, generate the appropriate SQL command, and extract the correct information. Digging deeper, I can ask, which tickets are assigned to Gabriel White? Now, as Gabriel White, the support agent, I'll ask to see the information for ticket number eight. I see that the ticket is talking about network speed issues. In order to resolve this ticket, I'll see if we have any knowledge base articles which explain how to troubleshoot such issues. For this query, our agent will use the RAG tool, which was trained on knowledge base articles stored in object storage. As you can see, the agent came back with the relevant information as well as a direct citation and link to the original file. Now that we have a solution for the customer's issue, I'll ask the agent to send an email to the customer with the suggested troubleshooting steps. Using Oracle Autonomous Database, the OCI agent service drawing on multiple internal data sources, the Generative AI service in Oracle Code Assist, I was able to streamline the workflow of customer service agents easily and effectively. Very cool. Yes. Well, that was, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And, you know, Clay talked about the progress of these AI agents. It's reality. This is happening. And so can you, can you give me some examples of some real world problems that this is solving for our customers? Absolutely. I mean, you saw the demo was all about customer support and we were working with so many different customers. Everyone has a customer support use case to where they want to delight their customers with AI, but it goes beyond that. Uh, we're working with customers every day who are coming up with really creative and amazing solutions, utilizing these technologies, uh, supply supply chain optimization, uh, employee onboarding assistance, uh, insurance claims, automation, in healthcare, drug discovery, uh, patient care recommendations, population awesome. health insights. So it really runs the gamut. But I think what is so powerful and I've seen firsthand at Oracle is that we're all figuring out how to use these technologies collectively. And when you put the tools into employees' hands, they come up with great ideas and surprising ways to use the technology to delight our customers. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you Thanks all for, for being here. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you.